I'm Misty Velasky, and this is Ojai Valley News In-Depth. Joining me today is James Lockwood, Marketing Director for the Ventura County Fair, running August 3rd to 14th. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Misty. Mm -hmm. So the fair, of course, everybody's really excited about the food and the rides and the exhibits. But tell us, what are you most looking forward to in 2011? I'm most looking forward to the people coming in, seeing the smiles on their faces, the children getting excited about the rides and the animals, people coming in and when they first see their entries in the fair, seeing if they won a blue ribbon and how excited they are and how proud they are of seeing their things and their name there with the thing, and their contributions to the fair. Mm -hmm. Now, you and your organization put in, I'm sure, hundreds and hundreds of hours, and it takes hundreds of volunteers. Now, you've got quite a few from Ojai as well, I understand. We have around 100 or so volunteers from Ojai in all the different departments. Mm -hmm. And uh, people come in for um, entry days. They come in during the fair to help with information in the different departments to tell people which way um, the exhibits are. And there's a number of things that people do. They love doing it. They make friends at the fair, and they have fun being at the fair at the mm -hmm. same time. Now this year we've got some really cool uh, acts as usual, some of the concerts and entertainment for the night. Uh, so tell us a little bit about who we've got featured this year. Oh, we've got a great array of uh, musical acts. Uh, there's something for everybody. There's country music with Trace Adkins and Clay Walker, mm -hmm. rock and roll music with the Beach Boys, Ario Speedwagon, Three Days Grace and um, Lifehouse. Uh, Pat Benatar will be there. Um, Hispanic act, we've got Bronco, Ezequiel Pena, and Alex Rivera. Mm -hmm. There's two rodeos on Saturday and Sunday, and motorsports opening up the fair on Wednesday and Thursday. Just about everything. There's something for everyone. <laughs> uh, now, we've also got some special admission days, of course, so tell us about those. Yes, it's a great way for people to come into the fair and uh, enjoy it at a less of an admission price. And uh, it begins with the dollar day on opening day until 3 o'clock. People can get in for a dollar. And then we've got um, youth day on Friday. So the kids all get in for free all day. <laughs> Seniors and people with disability on the first Tuesday of the fair will be getting in free all day. Military on the second Thursday of the fair. And um, we have a food drive with food share. And that's on the first Thursday of the fair. And if people bring in five cans of food, before three o'clock, they'll get in. Uh, they'll get a return ticket to the fair, so they can come back and enjoy it again. Very cool. So That's helping nice. out the community and get Definitely. a little something back. That's right. Uh, of course, the food. Now we've got some really amazing food. And that's what fairs are known for, of course. But what, what's your favorite? What are you looking forward to? Mm, I love the spiral fries. Oh, yeah. And then on, that's the savory. And then on the other end, I like the uh, funnel cakes. Oh, yes. So I love them, and I try to eat a little bit of everything, but, uh, you know, you can't do too much because I've only got 12 days, and if I spend all day eating stuff, <laughs> I'd never get any work done. <laughs> you could probably do it, though. <laughs> and my favorite's always been uh, the deep-fried Oreos and deep-fried Nutter Butters. Yeah, people's favorites are deep-fried, and everybody wants to know what is going to be deep-fried this year. <laughs> and although there will be something deep-fried, we never really know until it gets here because mm -hmm. the people who sell the food decide what they're going to do sure. and what, um, you know, what... Uh, trendy type of fair foods there are. They'll pick up along the way and bring them to us and surprise us. Chocolate covered bacon? Yeah, I think chocolate Which covered bacon. Which was really good, actually. It's delicious. Yeah, it is. I was very surprised. <laughs> uh, and of course, now this, this is something that goes back, you were telling me, 130 years in, in, in our area here that we've had the fair. So tell us a little bit about the fair history. Uh, well, the fair, the first fair was about 135 years ago. Mm -hmm. And... Um, it has gone back, it went back and forth in the early days from uh, Port Wainimi to um, the Bluffs in Ventura and mm -hmm. to where it is right now. Um, for two years during World War II, there was no fair because the U.S. military used the fairgrounds uh, to defend the coast. And um, you can see the, the hangars there or some of the remnants and the reminders of the days uh, from those days. Oh, I always wondered why they were shaped like that. Yeah. And they make great exhibit buildings. And, um, you know, uh, in, into the modern days, we've gone, we've been following the traditions of the old fairs and um, adding the new. The fair has always been about the new um, improvements in agricultural equipment and the best new seed and the livestock and the breeding of the livestock. So there's a combination of the traditional old things and the new 
trends in um, agriculture and the industry. Mm -hmm. So it really started out as something that was promoting the agriculture of this area. It did. It started out, actually, this celebration um, marks the 200th anniversary of the um, agricultural fair in the United States. Wow. And 200 years ago in Pittsfield, Massachusetts, the first fair was held and it resembled very much the fairs that we have today in that it had the livestock exhibits, it had people selling their, their farm equipment, it even had some rudimentary rides for people to enjoy in the day. And over the years, the fairs have pretty much st stayed the same, but they've evolved with the times. They've added new traditions as the years go by. We always have new traditions. And um, now there are over 2,000 um, agricultural fairs throughout the United States celebrating the 200th year of the Ag Fair. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, a lot of community involvement. Definitely. Especially here in the Ojai Valley area. So tell us, uh, who in, in Ojai is going to be featured in our fair? I know we've got a lot of them. We have a lot of people from Ojai involved in the fair, and without the community, there would really be no fair because it's the people who make everything work for us. Um, we've got over a hundred volunteers from the Ojai and Oakview area and they come in as I said before They come in to enjoy the fair and to work and make friends and you know have a good time doing it at the same time um, On our opening day, we've got a 10 year old from Ojai Emmy Hilgers And she's going to be opening it up by singing the Star Spangled Banner for us And wow. we're really excited about that. I hear she's an amazing talent. So we're looking forward to that on our board of directors, past president of the board of directors is Mike Bradbury. He's from Ojai. And then we've got people entering their um, different um, crafts and talents to the fair. Um, a couple of people that I can think of offhand in the floriculture department, there are two children, an elementary school children, Emily Lewandowski and Ethan Kelly. Emily's from Oakview, she's 10, and Ethan's from Ojai, he's nine years old, and they're they're installing their own gardens in the floriculture department. It's a big under undertaking, it's a great responsibility, but it's also a nice contribution uh, from them to the community mm -hmm. to enjoy what, they, what their talents are. Um, from Oakview, um, a housewife named Gretchen Buck is uh, really into crochet. She is entering five crocheted turkeys two afghans and a sweater and she uh, crochets all the time and she enters things every year so really excited about that and in our junior fair board um, three people that come to mind from the junior fair board are kyler heath he's 17 um, and he is a member of the citrus valley 4-h mm -hmm. he's entering steer and swine and he'll be starting ventura college this year uh, dalton davidson is 17 years old and he's with the miramonte 4-h He's going to be entering swine, and he's a graduate from Nordoff. And Carly Heath, 13 years old, with the Citrus Valley 4-H, is uh, also from Nordhoff, and she's going to be entering a lamb this year. And we have a lot of participation from the 4-H groups in Ojai and, and the area. Uh, Chief Peak 4-H, uh, Citrus Valley 4-H, and Miramonte 4-H. And so those are a few of the people. There are so many of them. It would take your entire segment to name them all. <laughs> But uh, we thank everybody for their uh, contributions, and we hope everybody will come on out and enjoy what, they, what they've done for us. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, the 4-H section of this, you know, the very hands-on, always like to go and pet the lambs and everything like that. Do you have any idea how many animals are entered each year? I don't have any idea. All I can tell you is that there's so many animals, there's a change out in the middle of the fair, and so the, the beginning of the fair, there is... Um, one type of animal it starts with the smaller animals and then it um, changes over in the end and different animals large livestock comes in so if you see the animals in the beginning of the fair come at the end of the fair and see the rest of the animals but the animals are all raised by children in the 4-h grange and ffa and um, it's a project that helps them develop their skills in animal raising and um, in actually marketing the animal, getting them ready for um, the market. And uh, it's a really big learning experience and a huge responsibility for these kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like we've got a lot of young people this year really kind of taking the reins. It's really become a great, a great part of the fair. There's an auction on Friday, the last Friday of the fair. And uh, that's when the kids actually get into showing the animals. They, they um, display them for the judges and for the people, and then they have the auction where they sell them. 
Mm -hmm. Now, of course, uh, anybody can go to that. Of course, you can That's right. Go and visit. Now, tell us, uh, are there any um, secret events, any events that people don't know about that are definitely must-see? Well, one new event that people don't know about in the youth department is the Farm Derby competition. And what it is, is the children are asked to create a vehicle that's non-motorized that will ride on a track. And this track simulates, and the contest simulates, the transportation of agriculture from the field to the packing house mm -hmm. to educate people about how the food actually gets to their table. And so what they're asked to do is to create um, a vehicle that will hold a lemon, and the lemon is the produce that they'll do, and the one that holds the lemon the longest and makes it the furthest and the fastest will be the winner. And so that's something new in the Youth Expo, but there's there's thousands of things that will excite people and surprise people. There's new things that come up every day. At the last minute, if something new comes up, we're going to do it. So <laughs> there's a lot of surprises in store. Mm -hmm. And for more information, of course, they can visit your website. Yeah, VenturaCountyFair.org, or you can check us out on Facebook, like us on Facebook. We're doing updates there all the time. And um, call us, 648-3376, mm -hmm. the old-fashioned way. <laughs> <laughs> and tickets can be purchased online as well as at the door. That's right. Great. Tickets are available online at VenturaCountyFair.org. Great. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks, Misty. It's great to be here. Mm -hmm. You can come to the fair. <laughs> we will. <laughs> the Ventura County Fair begins August 3rd and August 14th. For more information, check out VenturaCountyFair.org. I'm Misty Velasky. This is James Lockwood. This is Ojai Valley News In-Depth.